Every day, thousands of drivers across America pull up to highway on-ramps and attempt what traffic engineers call one of the most dangerous maneuvers in transportation, turning left across opposing traffic at 60 miles per hour. The math is brutal. You have maybe three seconds to judge the speed and distance of oncoming cars, accelerate through your turn, and merge onto a freeway ramp. Get it wrong by even half a second, and you're looking at a T-bone collision that sends both vehicles spinning across multiple lanes of highway traffic. In Missouri alone, over one-third of all fatal crashes at highway interchanges happen during this exact moment. But here's what's really disturbing. We've known how to eliminate this problem entirely for over 40 years. There's a road design so effective that it cuts serious crashes by more than half and completely eliminates left turn collisions. It's been tested, proven, and quietly spreading across America since 2009. The catch? It requires drivers to do something that feels absolutely wrong. Drive on the opposite side of the road. Picture the most common highway interchange in America, the Diamond Interchange. It's the basic overpass where a surface road crosses above or below a freeway, with on-ramps and off-ramps connecting them. You've driven through thousands of them. Every conventional Diamond Interchange creates 26 collision opportunities where vehicles cross, merge, or change direction. Ten of these involve crossing conflicts, where cars traveling opposite directions must navigate through shared space. These crossing points generate the most severe crashes because they typically involve vehicles hitting each other at perpendicular angles at highway speeds. The most dangerous moment happens when drivers turn left across opposing traffic to enter highway on-ramps. In Missouri, 34.3% of all fatal and injury crashes at conventional diamond terminals resulted from this single maneuver. Drivers must judge gaps in oncoming traffic while accelerating into a turn, creating split-second decisions with potentially fatal consequences. Consider the Interstate 44 and State Route 13 interchange in Springfield, Missouri, before its reconstruction. Daily traffic backups stretched one to two miles, with drivers waiting 25 minutes or more. The infrastructure operated at level of service F, engineering terminology, meaning complete system failure, like a restaurant so overwhelmed that customers abandoned their tables. Small storage areas for left-turning vehicles created bottlenecks that rippled through the entire network. Similar problems plagued the US-36 and McCaslin interchange in Colorado. By 2011, it served 42,000 vehicles daily, but morning queues for northbound left turns backed up through two additional intersections. 600 vehicles per hour attempted this single movement, creating cascading delays throughout the corridor. Across America, conventional diamond interchanges were approaching capacity limits while generating thousands of preventable crashes annually. While American engineers struggled with increasingly congested and dangerous interchanges, French transportation planners had quietly implemented a radically different approach since the 1970s. Their diverging diamond interchanges operated on an elegant principle temporarily relocate traffic to the opposite side of the roadway between on and off ramps. Imagine driving toward a highway interchange, but instead of staying in your normal right-hand lane, traffic signals guide you across to the left side of the road. You proceed through the interchange area, driving on what would normally be the oncoming traffic side. Then, signals guide you back to the right side as you exit. This crossover eliminates the need for left-turning vehicles to cross opposing traffic streams. Instead of navigating a dangerous left turn across oncoming cars, drivers make what becomes a simple right turn onto the freeway ramp. The geometric change transforms the most hazardous movement into one of the safest. Trying to turn left across busy opposing traffic versus making an easy right turn with no oncoming vehicles. French engineers reduced collision opportunities from 26 to 14 total conflict points. More critically, they decreased crossing conflicts from 10 to merely 2. This represented nearly a 50% reduction in vehicle-to-vehicle -vehicle conflict points, according to Pennsylvania Department of Transportation analysis.
the operational efficiency proved equally impressive. Diverging diamonds could function with two signal phases, instead of the three, four, or eight phases required by conventional designs. Shorter cycle lengths meant more green time for each movement, reducing delays while increasing throughput. The French had solved problems that American engineers considered inevitable consequences of highway traffic growth. Yet this innovation remained virtually unknown across the Atlantic. Gilbert Klawicki, a University of Maryland graduate student, independently developed the diverging diamond concept in the fall of 2000 while studying the Interstate 95 and Interstate 6 95 interchange near Baltimore. Complex grade separations manage traffic flow through elaborate overpasses and underpasses, leading Klawicki to wonder what would happen if traffic signals replaced expensive vertical infrastructure. His theoretical work produced a design identical to interchanges already operating in France. During a European trip, Klawicki discovered his concept functioning successfully in Versailles. Rather than discouragement, this confirmation proved his mathematical models reflected practical reality. After Schlawicki presented his research in July 2003, the Federal Highway Administration began studying the design around 2004. An influential 2005 Federal Highway Administration analysis demonstrated significant improvements over conventional designs, particularly at high traffic volumes. The evidence supported implementation, though institutional resistance and public skepticism created additional hurdles. Missouri transportation officials, desperate for solutions to Springfield interchange problems, agreed to construct America's first diverging diamond. The project cost $3.2 million, compared to over $10 million for conventional alternatives, representing 70% savings in construction expenses alone. On June 21, 2009, the reconstructed Interstate 44 and State Route 13 interchange opened with the new design. Those mile-long daily backups disappeared immediately, and the interchange performed better than engineering predictions suggested. Diverging diamond interchanges succeed through systematic reduction of traffic conflicts and simplified signal operations. As you drive through one, the crossover geometry naturally slows traffic to 25 to 35 miles per hour through the interchange area. You're not racing through at highway speeds trying to judge oncoming traffic gaps. The design forces everyone to slow down and follow clear directional guidance. When approaching the interchange, traffic signals stop oncoming traffic while guiding your lane across to the left side. Concrete barriers separate you from opposing traffic, so you may not even notice you're temporarily driving on the wrong side. When you want to turn onto the highway ramp, it's now a simple right turn with no oncoming traffic to cross. Signal timing becomes dramatically simpler without dedicated left turn phases. Traffic crosses to the left side, proceeds through the interchange, and returns to normal positioning. The Federal Highway Administration simulator studies address concerns about wrong-way entries onto freeway ramps. The crossover geometry makes accidental wrong-way movements extremely difficult, contradicting initial skepticism about driver confusion. Pedestrian accommodation improves through protected center walkways in medians between opposing traffic lanes. This configuration simplifies crossings by requiring pedestrians to navigate only one traffic direction at each signalized intersection. The design naturally guides vehicles through correct movements using standard pavement markings, signage, and traffic signals. The Springfield Interchange produced immediate, measurable improvements that exceeded engineering projections. Missouri Department of Transportation surveys found 95% of drivers experienced reduced congestion, while 97% felt safer using the new configuration compared to the previous design. Crash reduction data validated safety improvements beyond subjective driver perception. Springfield experienced a 46% decrease in total crashes and 72% reduction in right-angle collisions within one year. Left-turn crashes, previously the primary cause of severe injuries, were completely eliminated. 
A comprehensive national evaluation of 26 diverging diamonds found 37% reduction in total crashes and 54% decrease in fatal and injury crashes. Missouri statewide analysis showed 62.6% reduction in fatal and injury crashes and 40.8% decrease in total crashes following diverging diamond implementation. The US-36 and McCaslin interchange in Colorado demonstrated multimodal integration possibilities. Grade-separated bus underpasses allowed transit vehicles to bypass traffic signals entirely, saving over one minute per run. With 10,000 daily bus riders, this created collective time savings of 170 hours daily. The project contributed to 45% increased ridership on US 36 bus routes. Economic analysis for a proposed Tulsa, Oklahoma. Diverging Diamond projected $27.88 million, million in travel time savings and $8.92 million in reduced vehicle operating costs over 20 years. U.S. Department of Transportation studies consistently show 15 to 60 percent delay reduction and 10 to 30 percent throughput increases compared to conventional interchanges. Public opposition represents the primary barrier to diverging diamond adoption. State Department of Transportation surveys found 86 percent indicated public resistance hindered alternative intersection implementation efforts. A 2021 Indiana survey revealed 36.1% of residents believe drivers would navigate diverging diamonds incorrectly. The resistance stems from deeply ingrained driving habits. Asking people to deliberately drive on the wrong side of the road challenges traffic rules learned from childhood. Professional engineering conservatism creates additional implementation challenges. Traffic engineers prioritize proven designs when public safety is involved, making diverging diamonds represent a significant departure from established practice. Operational limitations include restricted accommodation for oversized vehicles that must exit and re-enter freeways to bypass low bridges. U-turn prohibition at crossover intersections requires drivers to reach adjacent intersections for direction changes. These constraints, while manageable, require consideration during design phases. Charles Marone of Strong Towns argues that diverging diamonds optimize vehicle movement at pedestrian experience expense. While center walkways may improve safety through reduced conflict points, routing pedestrians through high-speed interchange centers creates less pleasant environments compared to conventional sidewalk separation from traffic.